Right, so problem with horses is they break things. So as you can see, this pole here, this post, has broken off in the ground. And I need to get these wires off so I can remove the post. Now, what I have, and I showed you yesterday on my social media, is fencing pliers. And uh, if you want to try and do these with other pliers, it's a bit of a nightmare. Fencing pliers, you've got this sharp bit here, you can lever in and you can start to dig out your staple. And then, I mean, I've almost hammered that out as I'm quite weak with pulling. Then you've got your little clips on here, your pliers to grip and pull it out. And that's my staple. So I've been doing this a while without my fence pliers and I can tell you it's a lot easier with these. So these are very important tool with naughty horses that break. So it's a perf perfect tool for removing these staples from your fence. So I've got my last one down here. I could probably use a bigger hammer, but it's all I have on this. So now we have the wires untangled. The horses have come over to see what's going on. We can rotate this. And our poles, you can see the posts rot off at ground level. So instead of replacing this right now, as you can see, it's very icy. It's going to be hard to dig the rest out. Um, I'm going to pre-creosote a bunch of other poles up to up to uh, above ground level before we put them in. So, pole done. Post done. So I just got my fencing pliers. I've only actually just found out about these about a week ago from the farmer who lives next door. But. Um, I was doing all sorts of crazy things trying to fix my fences that my horses broke without these and it's just extra hard labour. So I want to talk you through, um, you've got the really sharp bit here so when the staple is in the wood you can use that to um, dig underneath the staple, bang on the back here, then you've got the little clip, the little, uh, I don't know what you call them, grippy part to pull your staples out once you've managed to bang a bit out. You've got bits here to cut your wire and then here underneath you can use it to hold the wire as you try and stretch it through and round the posts. So I'm just going to demonstrate because it's actually a lot easier than trying to talk you through. I'm going to demonstrate how to use my favourite new tool, fencing pliers. <laughs> 